What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to show you the basics of how to do tribal shapes. Dread Labs. So what we're basically going to do in this uh, tutorial is I'm going to explain a bit on how to draw the basics of tribal shapes that I mainly use in my cover artworks. Um, uh, we've also released a, a vector pack on this with Dread Labs. Uh, you can check it out on dreadlabs.net. On a note, this tutorial is going to be done in Procreate, but you can replicate this basically in Photoshop or on paper or whatever you prefer. Um, the only problem is that it's kind of required to use a tablet on this one. Uh, yeah, I recommend doing this uh, with a tablet or either a pen or whatever, because with a mouse, it's not really doable. So um, I'm opening up Procreate in here on my iPad um, with my Apple Pencil. And the basics basically of tribal shapes are, um, they're mainly always rounded. I will just, let me just pick up a sketch that I did before this. Well, the usually how I go about uh, creating uh, shapes like this is um, I draw out like a, an arch or an arc. I draw out an arc uh, like this. And... Now let's go back to the where it began. And basically, um, well, ma the main thing of tribal shapes is that they are basically circles and uh, ellipses cut out, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. Um, let's just you take an another arc here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw an ellipse in here. Um, and let's just uh, erase everything, uh, just like the Pathfinder and Illustrator, basically uh, erase everything that the ellipse, uh, where the ellipse overlaps is our shape, um, like here. And you can see that there's already some kind of like tribal-ish uh, shape going on here. Um, so basically, this is the yeah, this is it. Um, just draw out uh, any. Uh, any forms that you like uh, and then have them cut out with ellipses um, I'm just doing like a, a bit more of a complicated shape right now to show you what I mean um, so let's just say that this arc would like end up right here and then what I would just draw an ellipse here and maybe resize it a, bit, a little bit and then erase where it overlaps us like this I already get that like kind of like um, yeah that like scissory uh, scythe kind of uh, shape in here but for the sake of this tutorial I already made a, a sketch beforehand so I wouldn't like uh, so I didn't have to come up with anything on the spot here I'll just go over the sketch with you guys so you can see uh, the principle of doing this uh, tribal shapes so what I did here is I started out with this shape right here um, and then I made like a, an arc uh, in this direction and it doesn't really matter if they overlap in here because this is still a sketch so you can just edit it if you want to and uh, so yeah yeah you basically it doesn't have to be per perfect at this stage um, and let, I'm gonna let it loose here uh, and let this arc way here um, end up right at the same point and then I'm gonna ju just make like a little line in here um, and what you want to do right now is basically erase the lines to where they overlap like here uh, in the bottom if I would like actually use this in an artwork uh, what I would do is I would lower the opacity of my sketch in here and I would get an inking brush um, for example this one uh, here in Procreate and what I would do is I would just draw it out a bit Oh, this is way too big. Just like this. Um, but what you want to, what you're gonna see is that this isn't gonna uh, look really sharp and smooth like how tribal shapes mainly are. Uh, for example, let's just fill this shape right. Up here and then I'm gonna explain a bit further on what I mean by that um, 
So if I fill it in right now, you can see like the kind of the edges here aren't really that sharp. Uh, what and that's kind of a problem, but because that's uh, one of the gimmicks of like tribal shapes. Um, so what I would do is I would get my eraser uh, in Procreate, and I'm gonna match it with my uh, brush here. And the the thing that's so nice about tribal shapes, you can get these really sharp edges by erasing parts of them. So I would uh, get my oh, I would get an inking uh, eraser here. Um, basically the same eraser as my brushes, and I would uh, draw a line in here, and I would make it end at the very end of the shape, like here at the here in the in the corner here, and then I would uh, take another uh, part of the tribal shape, and I would draw like an ellipse again here. And because this ellipse is like one form, the lines are going to be smooth anyway. Because when you hold your um, your shape that you drew in uh, Procreate, it's going to uh, make it into a smooth uh, object, basically. So, so this ellipse here is actually a smooth ellipse that's uh, cutting off the rest of the shape, which makes this form uh, smooth enough to work with. So let's just do that with the other side of this. Again, we're gonna take an ellipse and if you see that the ellipse is not like overlapping every part of the shape just uh, redraw it a bit or you can do it in two um, in two sections like here the more like bites you take out of the shape the more uh, metal metal it kind of gets if you, if you can see right here so if I take out more and more uh, you can see that there's shape is getting more like metal uh, metal text vibe ish I guess so yeah, let me just draw another one here. Um, I just make this ellipse here, make it go all around, and you can still see that it's not even uh, aligning at the same point. But um, I'm gonna just take another ellipse here. have it cut out for me and you can see sometimes that your uh, shape is gonna get to get uh, a little bit thin uh, because of this because you're obviously uh, taking parts out of it so the solution for that is just um, making the shape a bit more thick so uh, I would just go and make the ellipse like this so it's a little bit bigger than my sketch uh, and just fill it up and then just go with your eraser and take parts out that you don't like. And even just in the middle of a, uh, of this arc, uh, taking a smaller circle out of it also makes this uh, shape a bit more uh, tribal-ish. Um, also, very thick uh, areas like here uh, don't really uh, match well because um, the shape really has to go from thin to thick and that's not what's happening here so I might need to take out a chunk here and then take a bite out of here so the thickness doesn't uh, get a bit too weird um, so yeah this is kind of the basics on how I learned it I um, I just told myself this basically, um, which means that there's, I'm not sure if there is any theory behind this kind of art or not. Um, I just, this is just the way that I do them and, uh, I hope you learn something. And again, um, my, uh, vector pack, uh, the dread shapes, which contains all of these, uh, shapes in a vector format. It's up on our web shop right now on dreadlabs.net and, um, yeah, you can make some really dope animations or art cover artworks with them and uh, yeah, just uh, I hope you'll check it out and I'll see you in the next video.